Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra Salman and this waving guy is... Rotten Rebel. Yes, and if you don't know already, you need to go to his channel. There's oh, yes. a lot of fragrance fun and oh, yes. very, or I would say, uh, some really exciting news mm. as well. Oh yes, oh yes. So go check it out. Um, we are going to do first impressions of three fragrance houses today. Mm. And uh, the first one is Björk and Berries. Nice. Then we are going to try out two fragrances from Azaro. Ooh. And then one that I don't think any one of us have tried before. And that's Van Clef and Arpels. Mm. Yes. Yes, awesome. So uh, let's start. And we yes. are starting out with Björk and Berries. Yes. Uh, and you are going to get this and I am going to read out the notes. Uh, Interesting. So this so is uh, Björk and Berry's White Forest Eau de Parfum. Yes, and this is a woody and aromatic citrus fragrance. Mm -hmm. So we have cassis, lemon and bergamot in the top. We have violet and lily of the valley in the middle. And we have tonka bean, pine tree, pine. Pine. You talk a lot about pine sometimes. I used. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, birch, vetiver, and cedar. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of like it, even though yeah. I can feel a sort of a prominent vetiver. Yes, but this is a good vetiver, I would say. And does it remind you of something? No, what? I think this is quite similar to Balda Freak. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, uh, I have actually read about it, that mm -hmm. it should be like mm -hmm. Balda Freak. Okay. Um, so when it dries down, it uh, smells even more like Balda Freak from Byredo. Balda Freak to me is more subtle, but I yeah. do get the comparison. This feels more amped up. Yes. Uh, and Bala Freak is maybe a little bit less sharp on the citrus and more yeah. round and soft. Soft, yeah, yes. definitely. So the uh, yeah, this is way more punchy. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you were going to rate this between one to five. One to five. Wow. The first impression, at least. I get the citrus. Uh, I get a bit of the pine. Uh, I certainly get the vetiver. Yeah. Uh, and the witty side, whatever the notes are. Uh, I like it. Um, and when you mentioned Bald Afrique, I sort of think it could be the same, but Bald Afrique to me is more soft, subtle, um, but at the same time, a bit more sort of a refined and complex. Yeah. Uh, so this feels less well made. Yeah. Mm, but I like this one mm, from one to four. Five. I definitely think this one deserves like 3.75. Yeah, I was I just like about it. to say that. I, I really agree. Um, and I'm curious on uh, what the prices are, if these are, because I have no experience with, with the brand, if they are expensive or yeah, cheap or I in think, the middle. I think they, they're not cheap, uh, but they're not super expensive. I think these are like um, uh, uh, $100 for 100 yeah. milliliters ah. and compared to Byredo uh, yeah, yeah. and the Balda Freak, you get 100 milliliters for $200. Yeah. I like it. Mm, I do get um, some similarities with Byredo. Um, so definitely this is, this is a, a pretty solid purchase if, uh, if it costs like 100 bucks. Yeah. So good one. What are you going to give it? Um, I was also going to give it three and seventy-five. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's not a four, but three and a half is too little. So three and seventy-five for me too. So if you were looking for something that is has a bit of citrus, woody notes, uh, that pine, uh, and I mean they're supposed to they're supposed to be tonka in this one, but to me it's not something that is way too sweet or anything. No, there's like a hint of sweetness yes. in it. Uh, and then a bit of florals, then you are most likely going to enjoy this one, especially if you love Byredo kindish uh, yes. uh, perfumes. Yes. 
So uh, moving on to mm. the next, and we have another from B Björk and Berries, and that's Never Spring. Oh, Never Spring. And in this one we have... Why Never Spring? <laughs> I love spring. <laughs> this is a citrus, woody and fruity leather fragrance. Mm -hmm. And we have notes like lemon, blackberry, bamboo, jasmine, cyclamen, cedar, birch, musk and amber. Mm, so straight away I get a big dose of that citrus uh, mm. and the berries. Yes. Um, and I love the opening. It's nice. Yeah. The citrus together with the berries is just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it's, it gets that fruity freshness yeah. that you can get from yeah. some fragrances. And I love that combo in other uh, perfumes as well, when they have that citrus, that burst of, a big burst of citrus together with something berry, like um, it doesn't have to be blackberry, but something no. uh, that is a bit fruity. Yeah. Uh, the opening is really nice. I can't pick up, uh, but I'm no expert on bamboo, so I have no idea how, no. W you know, what, what the note of bamboo is. Um, so this does have musk and amber, but I can't say that I smell it so much. This is more of and a... And now when it sort of dries down just a bit, I get even more sweetness. Yes. Um, along with a bit of the musk. I don't pick up that much of the jasmine. No. Uh, and not too much of the cedar either. I think um, I get some of the cedar. Uh, there is some kind of punch in it mm. that cedar often gives the fragrance. Do you, would you say this is good for both men and women? Mm, I'm going to guess without uh, take without actually looking. I'm going to guess that if we would go to Fragrantica, yeah. uh, most people would vo vote 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 <laughs> vote this one as something that is female. Yeah. Uh, but I think you can rock this one either, uh, regardless if you're a man or a woman. Yes. Mm, what do you feel? No, uh, I think that this would be just as good on a man. Mm. Uh, and this is the kind of fragrance that is genderless, I would say. Mm. And when you smell something like this with the citrus and the berry on a man, it's really cool. Just mm. like uh, some of your fragrances that are in that area. It's really cool on men. Mm, I mean, <clears throat> it's it's weird though because I think the sweetness in it is just getting more amped up the more it dries down. Ah. Uh, but yet the notes that you read out wasn't that sort of a super sweet in a no. way. Uh, but I like it, but I actually enjoy uh, White Forest more. Yes. Because White Forest had uh, gave me a sense of uh, luxury yeah. and something that was more refined and well made whereas uh, this one feels a bit cheaper and less well thought of when they put it put it together yeah and, and the more sweetness... generic i would yeah, say yeah to use yeah definitely. a word that you usually use <laughs> so i still think that this is this is pretty good but it's it's honestly not something that I was as positively surprised by as the previous one. So I think no. I'm going to give this one maybe... So if 3 is right in the middle, this gets 2.5 or 2.75. Oh, I'm going to have to agree with you again. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's also the rating from me. And I mean, if this one would be super cheap, like half the price of what you said, like you said, it. The other one was one hundred dollars for yeah. one hundred mil. Uh, if this would be half the price, then I would be happy to buy it yeah. and just have fun with it. But mm, I wouldn't buy this one for one hundred dollars. No, no. no I uh, but yeah, that was interesting and it was fun yes. to try Bjork and Berry. Yes, and I have never tried them before, so mm. that was fun. And um, I'm curious if they have more fragrances, and if so how those are. So what do we have next? The next one we have is Azaro Ooh, Chrome. 
I love Azaro, at least yeah. uh, their most recent creations for both men and women. So Wanted by Night, mm, mm, mm. get yeah. it if you're a guy, most and if wanted. You're a girl. Yeah, oh, could work. Oh yeah. no, not the male version. The most wanted, get it, it's awesome. And if you are a woman or a man, I mean, I'm gonna get it, get it. Uh, but please do make sure if you are a woman to get a wanted girl by night. Yes. That one is so sweet and so sexy. So these are, I'm not sure when these were released, but this is Arzaro um, Chrome. Chrome. This was launched in 1996. Whoa. Yes. Wow. So this is a gem uh, and it's a citrus aromatic woody fragrance with lots of citrus notes in the top mm. uh, and pineapple. Then some flowers in the middle like jasmine and cyclamen and coriander. Mm. And then in the base some woody notes, some oak musk, cardamom, tonka bean um, and some musk. Mm. And I like it. Uh, you get... The, like a big burst of the mix of citrus yeah and then you get a bit of aromatics and then you definitely get um, something that is a bit green and to my nose a bit sort of a it's leaning sort of towards something that reminds me of something that is aquatic but not aquatic but in that area and definitely the musk and the woody notes yeah uh, it's and good but it does remind me of I have other fragrances that are similar to this. Not exact dupes. So I'm not going to say that this is super unique. No, it's not. Uh, it's a good one, but it does give me a vintage feeling. Mm. It, it doesn't smell like it's something new and, as you said, unique. I think, uh, but I do think that this kind of scent is timeless because it's just fresh. Um, but I, I'm gonna guess that actually, if this one was made in 1996, mm, I'm gonna guess that other brands have sort of a copied it in one way or another because yeah, could be. I, I have more recent releases that smells a bit like this. But it, it could also be that the scent in, in itself is generic in so that other new fragrances haven't copied it, but it's just that kind of scent. Yeah. But I like it, and I think if um, if you want to smell fresh, if you enjoy citrus uh, together with a bit of musk, together with woody notes, and something a bit green in it, then you are most likely going to enjoy this one. This is definitely a highly inoffensive. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Um, so how do you feel about it? Is it just? Uh, is it for men? Is it for, for um, women? Is it for both? It's definitely a masculine one, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm actually not so fond of it. So mm -hmm. I would not prefer to smell this mm -hmm. on a man. But I'm also not so into aquatics, mm. so that's not so uh, weird mm. or strange for being me. And you don't enjoy overly citrusy fragrances either, no. right? No, so yeah. aquatics and citrusy fragrances is often not something I enjoy. So you are probably um, gonna give this one like a zero, nada? No, it's not bad, bad. So. Mm. Out of five, maybe one and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I shouldn't trash it. I mean, I, th I think this is uh, this is this is good for what it is, but it's fairly generic to my nose. So maybe half, right in the middle, two point five, right? Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the next one, and that is Azaro Chrome Legend. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and there you go. Thank you. And I'm going to read you the notes. And we have a green and fresh fruity fragrance with green apple, tea, bitter orange, musk, mm -hmm. tonka bean, vetiver, oak musk, cedar and amber. And this one straight away I enjoy more. I love apple. I get a sense of the mm, apple. Yes. Uh, the tea note, I guess, it brings it that sort of a soft or yeah. mellow kind of vibe, which I enjoy. So I usually, I'm not going to say usually, but in most sort of a tea fragrances, they are going overboard with the tea. And that's to me a yeah. no-no. But this one smells nice. And then you have the... the and you yeah, have musk. the tongue. I would say it's the green apple, the tea, and maybe the tonka yeah. bean together that makes this beautiful combination. And 
And there's this like a sweet and musky uh, base to it, yes. which is nice. So, so this one went nice. And I think we should mention that uh, we what we've done is that we had to dry down for at least 10 minutes. And then we sprayed freshly on top as well so that yeah. we would get a mix of the dry down and the top. Yes. Um, and I kind of like it. Yeah, I like this one. And when I sprayed this on the stick 10 minutes ago, uh, that first whiff of, uh, of it that I got was really, really nice. Mm. Um, yeah, this is definitely one that I enjoy. Yeah, I like it. And um, I sort of like that it's, it's, it's sort of a light. I do get the apple vibe but it's, uh, it sort of stays in that area. So you know what you're gonna get with, with this one. I.e. this is not a heavy kind of no. uh, fragrance and it's not too much of anything. So I don't think that the musk or anything is too overboard. The sweetness is like just the right amount. It's yeah. not too sweet. This is another one from Azaro uh, that is going to be highly inoffensive. Most people are most likely going to enjoy this one if you put it on. Um, but it, it is uh, is just like the other one. It is uh, sort of at the light end of the spectrum. So this is more suitable for summer or warm days. Yeah. Simply because if you use it winter time, I mean, go for it. You're gonna smell great, but uh, it might disappear in the cold. Yes, uh, and I think you're right about that. So, so I am going to give this a three out of five. Mm -hmm. So this one is better than the other one then? Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, I think I am going to copy you now. Wow. This is a three out of four, uh, out of five. <laughs> uh, it's tough math. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like it. And I'm going to guess that this is one of those from Azaro that is not that expensive. I could be wrong. Uh, so this, this is actually, a good purchase if you can find it like fairly cheap. Yeah, and this one was launched in 2007. Mm -hmm. So wow. they seem to have some oldies yeah. uh, hanging along. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah, so that was fun. I love Azaro, so, and I actually have not tried these before. Um, and this is going to be even more fun because now we have uh, Van Cleef and Arpels. Ooh. Yes, and uh, you have been longing to try one from them. Yeah, so I tried, uh, as I tried well. one or two in the past and then I've been hunting for leather, uh, I always forget, orchid leather? I can't remember the name of it. No, I uh, have no idea. So this is going to be, going to be fun. Um, so what I found was, because these were not so hard, not so easy to get, mm. uh, what I found was Collection Extraordinaire Gardenia Petal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and it says that this is a white floral and green fragrance. Mm -hmm. And we have notes like gardenia, white flowers, jasmine, green notes, lily of the valley and citruses. Yeah, definitely a floral one. Definitely a floral yes, one. Yes, a nice floral one, a round floral, floral one. And um, this does contain lily of the valley. That's mm. not your favorite note. I'm sort of undecided on Lily of the Valley. <laughs> I think uh, uh, too, if they are too heavy on it, mm, then I might lean into not enjoying it. But uh, there, I have plenty of awesome fragrances that has it in it. So it's yeah. not something uh, against, I think it's the same with, uh, like with a bunch of different uh, floral notes that if you go overboard with it, yeah. it's too much for me. Yeah. Uh, so if you know, but any... this is like soft, uh, not soft, but this is this feels like all the different floral notes in this one are balanced against each other in a really good way. Yes, and I think uh, that the jasmine kind of wraps it up. Mm. Um, if you know any uh, fragrances that are really, really good with a prominent note of lily of the valley, uh, please tell us in the comments because I want to find out what I think about it and what you think about it really when it's prominent. I like it for a floral and the reason why I like it is because uh, like I just mentioned if they if uh, I mean sometimes let's say I buy um, a rose focused fragrance 
Um, I buy it because it's as a rose focused fragrance, yeah. but it's got to be done in a way that the rose is not going to be too sharp. It's got to be balanced up by something else, like maybe a hint of sweetness or something like that. Uh, for example, Atomic Rose from Initia, one of my favorite roses. Uh, and the same goes with a lot of other florals. And what I enjoy about this one is that nothing, none of these, none of the florals in this one is poking my nose extra hard. <laughs> no. They are balanced against each other in a nice way. Yeah. But that also means that this is, I mean, I, I feel I like it, but I'm not sure this is something that is truly super unique about it. Okay. So would I buy this one? I mean, I think I would most likely buy this one like a gift to someone who enjoys florals. And I'm not so sure. So not me. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I don't think you can go wrong with this one. I, I believe most people who enjoy florals are going to enjoy this one. Yes. Uh, but I am not so into florals. Mm. Uh, and that's why I'm only going to give this two. Whoa, but it's not a bad a one. It's just a matter of but my taste. But you just give it a two. Yeah. Come on, you can't like... Okay, let's give it a one. <laughs> mm, no, I think this is uh, sort of a two and a half or three. It's definitely not bad in any way. No. no. Uh, so at least like approved. What's two and a half in your... Two and a half is like average, I would say. Average. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, decent. It's approved. okay. Approved. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. not one that mm. will make you stand out in a crowd, and it's not one that I'm in love with. So this is this is, this is okay, with. or just a bit better than okay. This is okay. And if you love florals, and if you want something that feels well balanced between the different sort of floral notes, uh, then this is probably yeah. for you. Yeah. So. So that was interesting. Let's move on to the last yes. one. Yes. And the last one is also from Van Cleef mm. and Arpels. No, I think the name is Van Cleef. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I didn't so... want to be, be rude though, to correct you. <laughs> you should, because now I have been sounding like a fool this whole video. Van Cleef. And <laughs> Van Cleef. No, I have Van learned Cleef. that it's Van Cleef and Art Balls. Um, I won't say that What did you just say? What you... Van Cleef and Art Balls. Uh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to make fun of? Are you of? sure it's Arpel and not Arpel? Oh. I'm just asking. Oh, I don't want to go down that road. I don't know. <laughs> so what's the name of this one? This is uh, another one from Collection Extraordinaire. It's California Riviere from Van Cleef and something. And what? Okay. Yeah. So what are the notes? The notes are, this is a white floral citrus and tropical fragrance. And we have some cool notes like beeswax and vanilla in the base, jasmine sandback and frangipani in the middle, and in the top neroli and mandarin orange. Mm. Uh, and um, even though we sprayed this one on like 10 minutes ago, I didn't pick up that much of the sweetness. No. It's there, but it's not too heavy. Yeah. I get the jasmine, I get the citrus, and I definitely get the neroli, but I don't pick up that much of the beeswax and vanilla. Do you... I wish I did get some of the beeswax yeah. and the vanilla because yeah. because that would have made this really good. But to me, this is just another floral. Mm. And like it a doesn't citrus really do it for me. Yeah, and it feels like something that I have smelled before. So not that you. Oh need. wow! Now I get it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think uh, if you smell down here, okay. I sprayed up here. Ah. You're gonna definitely pick up something that is honey-like sweet. At least I did. Or maybe don't. I wish I did, but I don't. Mm. But you're probably right. Yeah, there's something... Uh, the vanilla, though, I can't pick that one up. But I do pick up something that is honey-like. I'm gonna guess that is the beeswax. Um, yeah. Once again... Interesting. Interesting. And um, th so this was Gardenia, right? Yeah, no. Which uh, the name of the collection was Gardenia. It was, no, uh, Collection Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. And this was ah. California Revere. Ah, I was just Reverie. curious if, if they Reverie. were sort of a, I don't know. My God. Um, if they were a part of something that is floral, like a uh, collection. Maybe this uh, collection, the one that is called Collection Extraordinaire. Maybe that is a floral line. 
I actually I enjoy this one more because as the more it dries down, the more I get of that beeswax like oh, okay. uh, note, and I think it's pretty cool. And now I'm really cu curious if I would be able to find. Uh, please do comment if you have anything that is floral and a bit honey-like in your collection, uh, because that would be a cool combination and I can't remember if I ever smelled anything like that. So floral together with a honey-like um, kind of scent, that would be awesome. Please yeah. do let me know. Yeah, So for like, you. So like this one, but, but more intense on the honey together with the floral. Yeah. So... You don't seem excited about it. <laughs> No, mm. actually, this kind of make me nauseous. Whoa. Yes. So this is going to be a one for me. Whoa. This really one. gets in your face and it's that, it's like, what do you say, clawing and it's just all over. And now I can't get it out of my nose. Whoa. Okay. Uh, Sorry. I think at least a three. Wow. I think this is, this is a fairly solid release if you enjoy florals. Uh, and I think it was cool with the citrus together with that sort of a honey like I just wish that just because I'm curious on how it would be that the honey would be amped up uh, but mm, definitely not a bad one okay. so interesting yeah so out of these thick these things what's with me today I have no idea <laughs> no. so which one was your favorite or mm. uh, which was the favorite brand to start with only based on these uh, uh, first I impressions. That's a tough one because it feels like the uh, the 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 first one we tried was. It feels like every sort of house or brand had one good one and one less good one. Ah, yeah. yeah. Right. Even yeah. though you totally, oh, no, even Van though Cleef you, and those, yeah, you totally trashed uh, yeah. that one. But uh, based on my ratings. I gave like, uh, yeah, so I think that's like a split between all of these. Okay. Um, but I do know based on my experience with their other fragrances that I think Azaro makes the better one so far. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the best one, and that's a tough one as well, but I'm actually gonna go with the first one we tried, which was... The first one was the one who smelled like Balder Freak, and I think that was White Forest, wasn't it? White Forest, yeah. Yeah, yes, That it one was. was definitely interesting. Uh, it would be fun to try it more and see how, it's, how it sort of develops when it completely dries down, like an hour. Yeah. Um, but I like that one the most. Uh, and I just uh, bought myself a full bottle of the Balda Freak. Mm. So uh, maybe if I tried this earlier, I would have gotten myself the Björk and Berries one mm. instead. But I do think that both are, yeah. yeah. And there, it is a certain feeling to have one from Byredo that makes so, yes. uh, so exclusive and good. But I do feel that they are, even though someone is going to say no, they are really similar. I don't think that they are super similar. I don't think one is a dupe of the other one. No. And I do enjoy, I really enjoy that the other one, the um, White vanilla forest. forest, white forest. Yeah. Uh, that that one was a bit more intense and it wasn't that it didn't have that sort of a soft and subdued kind of or diffuse kind of feeling that the Bayreda one has. No. So in my world, they are different. So you can rest assured that your purchase is was a good one. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to look that brand up and I'm going to see what the costs are for the White Forest and maybe try and find more samples. And if we, we find yeah. more samples, we can do a thorough uh, first impression of the entire brand's yeah, releases. That, that would, be, would fun. be fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, so which one was your favorite? Actually the same as, as yours. Ah. Uh, I thought White Forest was really good um, and I would definitely consider buying it if I didn't already bought the Byredo one. And which house was it then? Uh, the, that one then, or was it Azara, or was it Van? Yeah, it wasn't Van Cleef. Uh, only based on these samples that we did today, my favorite house was Björk and Berries. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do really like Azaro because mm. they have very good fragrances. Mm. Yes. 
This was this was interesting and yeah, fun. It was, and uh, that's about it for today. But don't forget to follow her, follow <laughs> and him, me, subscribe. To yeah, me. that's the same thing. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding ding, over here as well. Like this video, <laughs> uh, like uh, two times, no, three times. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Just Once one or would three. be good. <laughs> uh, and please do drop a comment if you have tried any of these and let us know how you feel about them. Uh, and also, which of these uh, houses is your favorite one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let us know, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.